I just found probably one of the coolest tools in the world. Well, I'm a geek, so what I think is a cool tool may not be at all for other people. But I dare say the people watching this video are going to think this is pretty darn cool. Okay, everybody's got a feed reader. If you don't, this video is probably going to suck. So you might want to just click off right now. If you do, subscribe to Feeds. Trying to keep up on all the blogs, all the different information that is pertinent to your success online, like I do with all of these. And this is nowhere near the biggest list you could find of subscriptions to blogs uh, on the internet. I, I, I'm a pretty light reader, actually, compared to a lot of these guys who are totally sick and have no lives. I don't want to be sick anymore and have no life. In fact, I have a pretty good life. There's no way in the world that I would ever in one day of my life go through all this information. These are all blogs. I'm subscribed to every one of them. They're awesome, most of them. Some of them I just watch to see car wrecks in action. But uh, most of these are really, really good. And I love the information. I get a lot out of them most of the time every time I visit them. But I don't get to visit them that much. I dare say you're going through the same problem yourself. So there needs to be something new. This is Web 2.0. We were so excited about this when this stuff came out. I'm going to be organized. I'm going to have all of my information in one place. And it's just going to get crammed in my head. And I'm going to be the smartest person in the world. And people can ask me any question about anything and I'll know the answer. Well, that never happened, actually. And uh, it's because it's just too much information. It, it, it is receiving a signal from every one of these places, but you can't do anything with it. You can't put it in your head. You can't do anything at all constructive with it, but read through it and try like hell to remember half the stuff you read. Inner Web 3.0. Blog Rover. Uh, a friend of mine just passed this along to me. I installed it on my Firefox browser. It is the coolest tool in this genre <laughs> of staying organized and feed readers ever since the beginning of time, which started in about 1991. Blog Rover, B L O G R O V R dot com. Check it out. Go install it. It'll save your life. Now, what happens is I took all my subscriptions from over here. Just download my OPML file. And if you have a Bloglines account, it's right down here. Export subscriptions. Do that. Put it on your desktop. After you sign up with Blog Rover, go to Blog Rover and import them right there. Import. Bam. Done. All right. Now, what does this thing do? Well, first of all, it's far prettier. Far, far prettier. This is the Muhammad Ali of feed readers. But it does not stop there. This thing is so cool that wherever I surf online, if something is relevant from this list of subscriptions that I have, all of these blogs, something is relevant to the page that I'm on, it'll pop up this little window over here. And I get to see what Blog Rover thinks is important. Now, this is more viewing of the blogs that I'm subscribed to than I'll ever, ever, ever do over here. Because, first of all, I have to remember to go to blog lines. I have to remember on a daily basis when I'm busy with tons of other things that I've got stuff to read over here. Guess how good I am at remembering that. And I bet you I can guess how good you are at remembering to go check your feed reader and see what's going on. I don't want to be bugged on my desktop. That's why I got a feed reader that was online. So for those of you who are saying, well, you should have got a desktop, I don't want to. I don't want to. Man, could you imagine all the pop-ups I'd get? Come on. You're not going to do that. No sane person does that. And everybody who, uh, who does needs medication. So... Blog Rover pops this little window up. Every time I surf around, I, I get some new stuff. Let's go some places. Let's go to let's go to Dave Lacani's site. All right, marketing the bold approach method. Highly recommend it. Very very good blog. Uh, very very good information. Um, it doesn't appear that Blog Rover has anything to say about this. That's fine. Let's go back to blog lines and find some more stuff. They sure do like to show search engine watch blog. <laughs> That's one of my subscriptions, and Blog Rover thinks that my Bloglines account relates to paid links discussion at San Jose, their latest post, obviously, at Search Engine Watch. Maybe not. Man, I don't even know. That might actually be uh, a post they made a long time ago. Blog Rover might be that cool. If not, it's the latest post. Either way. Let's go to another one. Let's go to Michelle McPherson's blog. See what Blog Rover thinks of that. Uh, Michelle McPherson... Dun, 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 dun. Mm, yeah, talk about relevancy. 
FTR 2.0. That's my blog. And of course I'm relevant to Michelle. We talk about the same stuff all the time. So Blog Rover just passed a major test. How good is it at coming up with relevant stuff? And let's see. Leak building on a budget part three. That's an old post from me from 6707. So not... Oh, oh man, this is so cool. I'm just discovering this right here with you folks. This is... This is badass. <laughs> Shows the tags that I have on that post. Online marketing blog, big list, search engine marketing blog update. This is all from just landing on Michelle's page. And uh, and I'm starting to pull the information into my head in a relevant manner. Now there's Blogger over there. Okay. So look, I'm, I'm subscribed to all this stuff. When I surf the web now, I'm going to get little ties, little 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 shortcuts from information that's relevant to each one of the blogs that I belong to on any site that I go to. wonder what it says when I go to Google. Let's go to Google. Do, 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 do. Ooh, TechCrunch rules. Look at that. So TechCrunch comes up. Google sued for crimes against humanity. I'm just going to read some stuff here. I hope you guys don't mind. Anyway, uh, is this badass or what? I mean, that is so cool. Now, information is coming around the web with you. You can put your information in your pocket, take it with you, and look at what you're putting in your pocket. This is the same feeling I got when... Look at, look at all these feeds. This is the same feeling I got when I got an iPod. All my music is right there? All my stuff is just, like, sitting there? This is sweet. I converted 200 to 300 CDs and, and got rid of all of them. They took up huge amounts of space. <laughs> Half of them were scratched really bad. The cases were cracked and broken, and you would had to pull out a CD to play it. Look at Now I got it all right here. This is the same exact feeling you got when you got an iPod. If you have a lot of subscriptions, you're going to die when you load this thing. Use it. Blog Rover. B-L-O-G-R-O-V-R. -O -O Download it now.